Good morning, guys. Yep, it's Father's Day. You guys don't get much credit over there. You guys are just stuck in the woods. Okay, we can't humanize the goats, people. It's, it's not like that. They don't, they don't hang around their babies. I know, I'll come back in a minute, okay? All right, we got a lot of Fs going on today. We got Father's Day, we got some food, some family time, some fun, some farming. It's just all over the place. We got the pigs splashing around in the water. We got the chickens and the, and the live cam up in the eye in the sky watching me right now. It's a, it's a lot going on. Happy Father's Day 2024. <laughs> We've got some families coming out to snuggle, some goats, what else? Uh, oh, we got some fungus, let's say, we'll call it fungus, but the boat had to come out of the water. Yeah, over there, to make a long story short, we're in a boat situation. It's not the right boat for us. We figured that out after one season, actually one and a half seasons. We've gone on it on a couple times this year. Got to understand, Quinn grew five inches in one year. Also put on a extra weight with those five inches. Tyler got bigger. Everybody got on that. Just about everybody got bigger, and and it's just slower. It's slower, but really the main problem was the fungus that grew on the boat because it sat in salt water. Now some people say they leave it in salt water, they have no problem. We had a problem. So now, it's in the process of getting all cleaned out. It's actually in our driveway. We cleaned it yesterday for a couple hours with a power washer. And uh, almost had a major accident with the power washer. If you've ever used one, they are not toys. And uh, I took over. And if you know what a creeper is, it's a, like a... A tray with wheels on it you could lay down on and roll underneath the car to like work on your car well we needed that to roll underneath the boat to be able to spray all the fungus that grew on it all the stuff that was growing on the boat and I grabbed the creeper with one hand and I was spraying it with the power wash with the other and I'm not left-handed and I went whoosh, right over my hand and the power comes out so bad it went right through all the uh oh I hope you guys are still there yes you're still there it went through all the skin started bleeding it it hurt pretty bad it's fine now it's okay we got it all bandaged up but uh thank god it wasn't the stronger nozzle that you could put on the end, never use the zero degree nozzle, ever. Any of you guys that power wash know exactly what I'm talking about. Don't use the zero degree. Zero degree would have worked like a water jet and it would have taken my thumb right off. So we did not do that. We were on a 15 degree. So now, we have to figure out what to do with the boat. We can't really leave it in the water. It's got to get launched and put back in the water every time we want to use it, which is not the boating experience we wanted. Oh, I fell in a hole. So, we're looking into all our options. Girls, a whole bunch of grain. They're gonna be happy for the grain. Oh, I got an itch. I got it. Look at that. So we have to get out now that the boat's clean. We spent three hours power washing it. Now that it's clean, get it out, retest it, see how fast we can get it going with people on it because it was so gunky. That's my gunky word. word. Um. 
Good girls. Nice job. Everybody go run, run, run. Good job, Amy. Bye bye. Oh, this shit hurt. You're a couple days after hoof trimming. A couple days after hoof trimming, they move a little slower. Are you coming with me this way again? Oh, Lucy, come on, girl. You gotta start running with the herd again. You're not that uh you're not that weak. Now you're just spoiled. That should be the title of my video. Happy Father's Day. She's not weak. She's spoiled. And that's pretty much what's going on here. She doesn't need to come out this way. She just needs to run with the herd and go get some grain. I'm going to stop feeding you this way. I don't think you need it here. Come on. Over here. Let's go outside. Come on. Let's go. Right here. Hey, where'd you go? Come on. Oh, now you're just now you're just being a brat. Uh. Lucy, look at them. They're being so good over there. That was kind of a joke. You're not, no, you're not coming out. Nope, this is all her. She's even talking while eating. Yep, see? Oh, bitch. All right. No, 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 no. No, we're going this way. We're going this way. Let's go. With your friends. Thank you. Good job. Yeah, shake it out there, Lucy. I saw that. Rainy, can you stop pushing everybody around? All right, let's let House of Pie one out, because this is usually the point where I forget that. Oh, I never closed up two completely. So, yeah. And, to make a high-level story short, Sea-Doo, the company that makes that boat, has come out with the new version, right? 2025 version. Or no, 4 this year. 24 version. And, of course, just like everything else, the price went up. So, ours is actually pretty valuable because if you don't want to buy the brand new one that went up in price... You could buy ours, possibly. It's only got like 30 hours on it. And save thousands, if not 10,000, off the price of a brand new one. So it could be attractive to some buyers. Be like, eh, instead of going brand new, let's go one year old. It's already been broken in. It's already still has warranty left on it. All that kind of stuff. Save some money. So, so for us, it might be a good point to start thinking of that and finding boat option number two. But we don't know. There's a lot involved in that discussion, conversation. Oh. All right, you guys are good. Good guy. Hey, I let them out. Everybody in here is good. We could actually leave that open. That's relocked. All good there. Look at that pretty lady. I see you over there. Are you talking to me or or like those guys around the corner? Said it loud for everybody. Oh yeah, she did. She did say it pretty loud. So bright and red and cheery. Look at her. Starting her day off with her beverage. Good to go. Walking the runway. There we go. Good job. Oh, look at the, the face. That was good. That was the 
Oh, oh, this is behind the scenes stuff. You guys don't get to watch this. I, hang on. No, we're not done. Okay. Not that this is how I became a father. Oh, shut up. Okay, never mind. Okay. By the way, I'm only a father of four, not 400. The baby goats were not my fault. It was not me. Am I even recording? Yes, I am. I'm recording. Well, I have an update um, on Asher, so we can stop recording. Now. Okay, Asher, stop. Hang on. All right, Asher talk is over. We're going this way. Basically, high level. Asher needs to gain weight. That's it. That's the part we'll get for now. We're not challenged by parasites with him. It's not a parasite. Any, but that also raises a red flag for me. Right. Like parasite. Okay, we, we'll turn this guy on. Oh, there you go. You could start feeding them. I'm going to go take a look at all the fathers. And then we're going to be done. Okay. Yeah, I, I know, buddy. I know. She's on her way. She's on... You'll be let out eventually. Okay, we got people showing up in less than a half an hour. So let's go talk to these guys. Hi. Hi. Yes, I know. Look at you. Crazy goat. I know. Hello. Yeah, I know. And you, Asher, look at you. The big boy. You standing up. Yeah, you know what? He does the best of eating the greens in his pen like these guys. I mean, he's grown pumpkins. These guys ignore their green. I mean, look at him ignoring all that green. Crazy goat. Crazy dads. Should I tell Liz now I found another Nigerian dwarf buck that she could technically bring to the property if she wanted to so Mufasa doesn't get all the work? The question is, oh, he's neutered. Those two are neutered. He's not. I mean, weathered. So if she wanted two options, I found one. He could live over there. But I don't want that many goats. She'd have to sell one of these guys to somebody that wants alpine blood. That's my deal. Hey, Liz, I got a deal for you. Can you hear me? I don't think she could hear me with the fans. Hey, Liz. I'm putting this live on YouTube. I got a deal for you. Okay, you ready? Yeah. I know somebody who has a regard Nigerian buck that they're trying to sell. What? A, a registered Nigerian dwarf buck that they're trying to sell. Who? Tim, or hoof trimmer. What's he look like? He's all black with a little white. But do you need a second bloodline? Not yet. Okay, good. See, guys, I try to help. That was it. Okay. Well, I just want this to go down in the record that I don't always collect heartbeats just because they're offered to me that I actually am pretty picky about who I collect. Well, it had to be a business decision. You would have had to remove an alpine and, like, do a swap, a trade, find another farm that's looking for cute alpine blood. We've already discussed Grayson. Like so this, this. That's out of the question. Alpine blood. I mean, look at that alpine. Yeah, as if I'm, like, there's not a goat alive that I would trade for Yoshi. That's true. That's a good point. Yoshi, you're not going anywhere. Grayson's not going anywhere. Although I am still disappointed that he let the Tog gene win. He totally did. Twice. Twice. <laughs> yes. Okay, back to work. Good. No more Nigerian. I have, I have um, Asher's treat. Uh, Asher's treat. Okay. Yep, Asher, I'm going to get your stuff. You guys, good job, Father's Day. Relax, you deserve it. Okay, everybody. Bye-bye. <laughs>